Welcome to the latest and very easy to apply laser targeted marketing video training. Designed to take you by the hand and walk you through the process of getting the most out of laser targeted marketing in 2019 on behalf of your business. I'm very excited to have you here and I know that this will be very helpful for you. This exclusive video training will show you step by step, topic by topic and tool by tool what you need to know to dominate laser targeted marketing in the easiest way possible, using the most effective tools and in the shortest time ever. This video training is comprised of 20 HD training videos, ready to show you the latest laser targeted marketing for 2019. This is exactly what you were going to learn. Video number one, what is laser targeted marketing in 2019 all about? Video number two, researching keywords and search terms in your niche for targeting. Video number three, how to optimize your sites and pages for search engines. Video number four, how to write SEO optimized blog posts to engage targeted traffic. Video number five, how to target and rank videos on top of YouTube search results for huge YouTube traffic. Video number six, Optimizing posts for your targeted audience to generate traffic from top social media sites. Video number seven, how to increase referral traffic with a giveaway. Video number eight, how to run a targeted Google Ads campaign for cost-effective traffic. Video number nine, how to run a targeted Facebook Ads campaign for cost-effective traffic. Video number 10, how to remarket offers and products to the targeted audience. Video number 11, setting up an email newsletter to your target audience to convert leads into repeat visitors. Video number 12, getting targeted guest posting deals to build backlinks in 2019. Video number 13, top laser targeted marketing sources for your business in 2019. Video number 14, targeted link building tips for marketers in 2019. Video number 15, Tricks to increase targeted traffic for your website in 2019. Video number 16. Alternative targeting strategies that you can try in 2019. Video number 17. Do's and don'ts. Video number 18. Premium tools and services to consider. Video number 19. Shocking case studies. Video number 20. Frequently asked questions. Well, it's time for you to start getting the most out of laser targeted marketing in 2019 on behalf of your business. I know you'll love this training. What is laser targeted marketing in 2019 all about? Let's face it, a successful marketing strategy can mean the difference between being in business and out of business. And anyone who has been successful in the business world will tell you that relying on outdated marketing strategies are a quick way to a dead end. Marketing techniques of yesteryear employed tactics that cast a wide net, but often didn't focus efforts directly on reaching the highest quality leads. Cutting-edge marketers soon figured out that radio and TV gave them an opportunity to effectively target their advertising to specific demographics. They looked for broadcasting outlets in target markets that were doing well with their specific targeted demographic and ignored the others. They understood the power of targeted marketing. In 2019, that concept has been refined in the Internet age. Laser targeted marketing now requires a business to engage their audience with quality content spread across a number of online formats. Why is this important? As marketing guru Neil Patel has explained, I found that the right content will drive traffic, engagement, and conversion. So, the use of properly targeted content directly affects your bottom line. What is laser targeted marketing in 2019? Laser targeted marketing means focusing your marketing content to your specific niche market. Your goal is to provide some content that is of value to your niche. Or as Forbes.com has said, highly targeted content is extremely relevant to a small number of people. You must first 
Define your average customer. You can create a fictional persona of your average customer, incorporating his buying habits, likes and dislikes, his income, etc. Then tailor what you write to this person. Understanding the buying cycle of your potential customers is important here as well. You need to understand the research the customer goes through before making a purchase and what factors go into his buying decision. In order to reach your specific niche target audience, you have to understand how they consume information. Is your average customer online or offline? If your average customer gets their information offline, you still have to be in the world of direct mailing and even public speaking engagements. People still do this in 2019. If they're online, make sure you have a solid presence on Facebook, Twitter, and other important social media platforms to present your online blogs. Once you have the tension of your niche market online, you can direct the readers to landing pages on your website. You can use links in your blog for this or invest in paid ads. The goal of all of this is to put your effort towards marketing to that hypothetical average customer who is most likely to purchase your product or service rather than spending your time and money reaching out to low percentage, low return sales prospects. How do you achieve the right targeted content? Neil Patel has said, stick to relevant topics, find and use the right tone, and you'll build an audience that trusts you. This means you don't have to bend over backwards to be clever to your audience. What your content has to be is interesting and relatable to your specific target audience. Remember your hypothetical average customer? What does he want or need to read about? There's also a lot of data and information out there that can be passed on to your readers. Relevant quotes and citations from reliable sources add to the credibility of your writing and help inspire trust in your readers, which is one of your main goals. You can get even closer to your audience if you take the time to answer their specific questions directly. The modern social media environment, for all its faults, is an ideal form for this kind of direct interaction with your potential customer. If you can provide credible answers to their pressing questions, you will build their trust. Now you understand the concept of laser target marketing as it exists today. Hopefully you can incorporate some of this information in your marketing materials and help increase your conversion rate with your target audience. Researching keywords and search terms in your niche for targeting. Hey there, friends. Search engine optimizations are a crucial aspect of a laser targeted marketing campaign. When you optimize your content for search engines, you make it easier for leads and potential customers to engage with and convert through your content. SEO is a step by step process that starts with keyword research. You see, your base niche keywords can be used across several search terms, and keywords as well as search terms have different search volumes that determine how high they'll rank your content. In this lesson, we are going to show you how to properly research and collect the best keywords and search terms to optimize your content. Getting started. First, you have to define your base niche keywords or the keywords that define your target niche, segment, or product. For example, if your target niche is the diabetes care industry, then your base niche keyword should be diabetes care. Now, most marketers do keyword research directly on Google, but that takes a lot of time. And then you have to measure the traffic you attract with the keywords you find using an analytics tool. But we found that you can use the Google Keyword Planner for quick and better results. The Keyword Planner is an online tool offered by Google that allows you to research your keywords by providing you with search statistics that will help you to make the right decisions. It also shows you what other search terms your audience uses. To access the Google Keyword Planner, go to ads.google.com on your browser while logged into your Google account and then click on the Tools tab. Now click on the Keyword Planner option under the Planning menu. The Keyword Planner offers you two keyword research methods. By using a keyword to get search volume data 
and by using a keyword to get new keyword ideas. Finding the best keywords by search volume. In this lesson, we're going to teach you how to use both methods to research keywords and search terms in two stages. First, by getting search volume data that will help you determine the popularity of keywords, and then by using the best keywords you find to get alternative search terms and new keyword ideas. So let's first do the search volume research by clicking on the Get Search Volume and Forecasts option. When you do a search volume research on the Keyword Planner, you have to start by typing or pasting your base niche keywords in the search box. If you enter more than one keyword, make sure to separate each by line or with a comma. You can click on the Get Started button once you enter all your keywords. You'll get your results organized in a column. To get search volumes per keyword, click on the Historical Metrics tab. Now check the Average Monthly Searches column. There are two types of keywords by search volume. Keywords with high search volume and keywords with low search volume. Keywords with high search volume have more than 1,000 average monthly searches. These keywords are the most popular keywords among your audience and can be used anywhere on your content or site structure. On the other hand, keywords with low search volume have less than 1,000 average monthly searches and can funnel qualified leads that are using them to do very specific searches. Low search volume keywords have little competition on search results because marketers and content creators alike focus on high search volume keywords. By adding these low search volume keywords to your content, you will increase qualified traffic to your site, which will help you to increase your site's relevance, ranking, and authority. Saving your new keywords and search terms. You can create a database of your keywords and search terms by adding them to a spreadsheet after you do research. To show you how, we are going to add the keywords that we just researched to a spreadsheet we named Keywords by Search Volume. In your Search Volume Keyword Spreadsheet, you have to add three columns. Keywords, Search Volume, and Rank. In the Keywords column, you'll add your keywords. In the Search Volume column, you'll add their average search volume. In the Rank column, you'll add the word low to keywords with average search volumes under 1,000 and the word high to keywords with average search volumes over 1,000. Save and remember to update this spreadsheet over time by doing new keyword by search volume researchers on the Keyword Planner using the same base niche keywords. Finding new keyword ideas. Now it is time to get keyword ideas, so let's go back to the selection screen. To research new keyword ideas, click on the Find New Keywords option. Type or paste your keywords, your target search terms, and URLs in the text field, and then click on Get Started. You'll get a list of keyword ideas based on the keywords you entered under the Ideas column. Here, you can identify long-tail keywords and phrases with the highest search volumes. Identify the ones that are the most relevant to your business. These are keywords that you can use to optimize your content. You can also use these keywords as inspiration to create new content pieces. Saving your keyword ideas. You should also create a database of your new keyword ideas. To show you how, we created a spreadsheet that we named Keyword Ideas. In this spreadsheet, you'll just have to add a single column titled Keyword Idea. In this column, you'll add the best keyword ideas that you find in your research. Save when you were done adding your keyword ideas. Likewise, remember to keep this file updated over time. In the following lessons, we are going to show you how to use these keywords to funnel laser-targeted traffic to your online business. How to Optimize Your Sites and Pages for Search Engines Contrary to popular belief, search engine optimizations are not limited to blog posts and content. In fact, search engine optimization should be applied to a website structure right before adding content to it. Today, 
we are going to show you how to optimize a website for search engines. Please note that while you can apply these search engine optimizations manually or through any content management system, by far the easiest way is to build a WordPress website and applying the required optimizations directly from the WordPress dashboard. Also, plugins allow you to install optimizations that will supercharge search engine discoverability on your website. So, in this lesson, we are going to use our own WordPress website to show you how to apply on-site SEO step by step. Step number one, activate search engine visibility. Start on your WordPress website dashboard. Move over to the settings tab and click on the reading option. Scroll down the page and locate the search engine visibility option and make sure that it is unchecked. If it is checked, it will discourage search engines from indexing your website. This option is unchecked by default, but in case it is checked on your website, you'll just have to uncheck it and click on Save Changes. Step number two, customize your site to allow SEO-friendly URLs. Move over the Settings tab once more and click on the Permalinks option. In Common Settings, select the Postname option. This option optimizes your blog post URLs with the keywords in your blog posts to increase rankings on search engine results. You can click on Save Changes after activating this option. Step number three, install a search engine optimization plugin. Installing an SEO plugin on WordPress will help you to refine search engine optimizations on your business website. The most popular SEO plugin available is Yoast SEO. To install the Yoast SEO plugin, move over the Plugins tab and then click on the Add New option. On the following page, type Yoast SEO in the Search Plugins bar. Now locate Yoast SEO in the results and click on Install Now. Click on Activate after the installation is complete. Now you can start using the plugin to configure your site search engine optimizations by moving over the Yoast button located on the top bar dashboard menu. Step number four, install a caching plugin. You can optimize your site's loading speed by installing a caching plugin. Fast loading speeds are crucial to proper search engine indexing and installing a caching plugin will speed up your site by creating dynamic copies of your website to avoid loading the entire content every time that visitors access your pages. The most popular and user-friendly caching plugin around is the WP SuperCache plugin. To install it, move over the Plugins tab and click on the Add New option. Now type WP SuperCache in the Search Plugins bar. Locate WP SuperCache in the results and click on Install Now. Click on Activate after it installs. Now move over the Settings tab on the left-hand menu and click on the WP SuperCache option. Now select the Caching On option in the Easy tab under WP SuperCache Settings and click on Update Status. Step number five, add a meta description for search results. Meta descriptions can be added to all the pages on your site and will help search engine users to better identify the content on your website right from the search results page. The Yoast SEO plugin allows you to write metadata descriptions right from the WordPress dashboard. Move over the Yoast SEO tab and then click on the Search Appearance option. On the following page, click on the Taxonomies tab and locate the Meta Description field to write your meta description. Our tips to write the best possible meta description include include your base niche keywords in your meta description, include high search volume terms, include a call to action to encourage search users to click through, make it no longer than 155 characters, otherwise it will look incomplete in search results. You can click on save changes after writing your meta description. Step number six. Optimize your website structure. Optimizing the structure of your WordPress website for search engines is very easy, and you can do it through the customizer. 
Start by moving over the Appearance tab from anywhere on your WordPress dashboard and then click on the Customize option. First, click on the Site Identity tab from the left-hand menu. Now click on Select Logo to upload a logo to your site. Now click on Select File to locate your image logo in your computer. Double-click on your logo and wait for it to upload. You can optimize images uploaded to your site by adding keywords to the metadata fields in your images. The right way to do it is by adding keywords that your target audience uses in image searches to the title and alt text fields in the attachment details section. You can click on select to add your image and continue. Now enter the name of your website in the site title field. Here, you can also enter the name of your brand or business to rank it in searches for your base niche keywords and search terms. Now enter your site's tagline in the tagline field. It is important to add your tagline because it will provide a very brief description of your business in the title of your website as it appears in search results pages. A good site tagline includes your base niche keywords separated by commas to help search engine algorithms to better understand the topic of your website. Check the display site title and tagline box to display the title and tagline on the browser tab. Now on the site icon section, click on select image to add an icon to your website. You can use a simplified version of your site's logo as your icon. Remember to optimize it with keywords in the title and alt text fields. You can click on the publish button to load your new search engine optimizations to your website. Now your business website is fully optimized to funnel in laser targeted traffic from search engines. How to write SEO optimized blog posts to engage targeted traffic. Creating relevant, up-to-date content that is optimized for search engines is the only way to keep your website active on top of search engine results pages. But as you may know, search engine optimization rules have changed. Nowadays, it is not possible to rank a website by stuffing the same keyword over and over in content pages. Instead, content needs to be well-structured and keywords have to make sense in the context of your content pieces. Today, we are going to show you how to create written content that will help you to attract lots of laser-targeted search traffic to your online business. Getting Started To follow up this lesson, you need to start in the content editor of your content management system. In this example, we are going to use the blog post editor on our WordPress website. We recommend you to apply the following optimizations in the same order shown in this video. Step number one, add the headline. Let's start with a headline or title. If you're using WordPress, click on the add title field to type your headline. The function of a post headline is to stand out in search results and to rank the blog post high in search results. There are three optimizations that you need to apply to achieve the desired results. First optimization, create a numbered title. Internet users are attracted to list articles and by adding a number to your headline, you'll let users know that your content piece is numbered. The secret is to add the number of things that you'll discuss in the blog post to the title. The easiest way to determine this is by dividing your content into entries. In this example, we are going to publish a post about healthcare strategies. What we did was we divided each strategy as an entry with a unique subheadline. We have five strategies, so we are going to start the headline with five. Second optimization follow the number with a long tail keyword that includes a high volume search term in your niche. It will tell search users what your content is all about and it will also rank the blog post and search queries for those keywords. Third optimization. Add an actionable tease, such as, you won't believe, or you didn't know. This will increase curiosity in the user, 
forcing him to click through. Step number two, add the content. When you create written content for a blog post, you have to make sure that it is relevant, helpful, well-structured, and free of grammatical errors. It also has to target your keywords and search terms. As a general rule, all blog posts have to include your base niche keywords, but you have to create different blog posts to target different search terms. This will help you to funnel in different search users through different content pages. Now, to get on top of search results, blog posts have to be long form. Long form articles perform better because search engine algorithms are programmed to qualify them as more relevant. The best length is between 2,000 to 3,000 words. In this example, we are publishing a blog post that is almost 2,000 words long. You also have to add subheadings to each entry in the blog post to make it into a list article and improve readability. Step number three, optimize the images. You can add keywords to the metadata in the images that you insert in your blog post to make your content visible to users searching for images using your target keywords. WordPress allows you to easily apply SEO to your images when you upload them. Go to the Attachment Details section when you upload an image. Enter a keyword related to the image in the title field and then enter a search term in the Alt Text field. Alt Text is an attribute that helps search engines understand what an image is about. Apply this same optimization to every image in your blog post. Another way to maximize the visibility for blog posts and search result pages is by setting a featured image. Click on the Featured Image tab and then on Set Featured Image. Upload or select the featured image, optimize it in the Attachment Details section and click on Select to add it as a featured image in your blog post. Step number four, add tags. Tags are keywords that will help search engines understand the topic of your website and they're as important for your site's discoverability as the keywords in your blog posts. Tags will help your content pages rank high when they are specific to your content. To add tags to your blog posts, you'll simply have to click on the Tags tab and then to enter a keyword or search term in the Add New Tag field. Hit the Enter key every time that you enter a tag and add all the keywords and search terms that are relevant to your blog post. Final Steps Now that your blog post is fully optimized for search engines, you have to save changes and publish it. If you're using WordPress, you just have to click on the Publish button. Remember to generate backlinks for your blog posts by sharing them on other websites, on social media, and email. How to target and rank videos on top of YouTube search results for huge YouTube traffic. YouTube is one of the most active and most visited websites in the world right now. It is used by top marketing experts with great results. And it is about time that you learn their secret. That is why today we are going to show you how to rank YouTube videos on top of search results so you too can enjoy the benefits of generating huge YouTube traffic to your online business. Getting started. First, you have to upload your video to YouTube. Log into your channel and click on the camera icon located on the top bar menu from anywhere on YouTube. Now click on the Upload Video option. Next up, click on Select Files to Upload. Locate your video on your computer and double click on it. Your video will start uploading. Optimizing the video. Now it is time to optimize the video for search results pages. Start with a video title. An optimized video title should be at least five words long. It has to include high volume search terms and keywords, the name of your brand, product, or website. All those elements help the YouTube and Google search engine algorithms Rank your video higher because it'll rank popular high search volume keywords with unique keywords 
such as the name of your business. Optimized video titles also include video keywords. Video keywords are long tail keywords that the YouTube and Google search engine algorithms rank as relevant because they are included in the title of high traffic videos. By ranking videos that are more likely to get tons of clicks because they include video keywords in their titles, the algorithms generate more views. Video keywords include review, how to, tips, tutorial, cute, funny, and keywords related to fitness, sports, health, travel, and lifestyle niches. You can add more than one video keyword to your title. You can, for example, add one at the beginning of the title and one at the end, separated from the rest of the title by a hyphen. Now you have to optimize the video description. To optimize a YouTube video description, you'll simply have to insert your website's URL on top and then to add a brief description that includes your base niche keywords and high search volume terms related to the video. Make sure that the video description is 250 characters or less. This will help the algorithm to index the video quickly and more easily and will also show the entire description in the video window. Now you have to add the video tags. Tags are keywords that the search algorithm will use to determine the rank and relevance of your video. To add video tags, you'll simply have to enter your base niche keywords as well as search terms that are relevant to your video in the tags field. Publishing your video. Now that you have fully optimized your video for search traffic, you'll just have to review the information that you entered here and then click on the publish button. Verifying your ranking in search results. YouTube videos are ranked immediately and you'll be able to check how high your video ranked on search results right after you publish it. You'll just have to type one or more of your target keywords or search terms on the YouTube search bar and then click on search. You can also Google the same keywords and check how high you rank the video on Google search results. As you can see, this is actually the best way to drive laser targeted traffic from YouTube to your online business. Optimizing posts for your targeted audience to generate traffic from top social media sites. Make no mistake, social media is huge, and it would be a waste if you don't build a presence on major social media websites. The only problem is that there are so many accounts competing to capitalize on the same type of content by targeting with the same keywords. In other words, it can be very difficult to generate targeted social media traffic. That is why today, we are going to show you how to optimize social media posts to generate laser targeted traffic from top social media sites. On Facebook, start by adding text to your post. First, enter a brief intro description to the post. You'll just have to briefly describe the content in the link that you'll be sharing. On Facebook, it works better to use search terms rather than keywords in your post, so make sure to share links to content pieces about specific topics that you can use as search terms in this brief intro. Also, make sure that your intro is 120 characters or shorter. End the text with an exclamation mark to boost engagement. Now, right below the intro description, it is recommended that you add a question related to the intro description. This will help you to increase curiosity about the content in your link, encouraging users to click through to check it and interact. One way to use your base niche keywords on Facebook is by adding them as hashtags. Because hashtag use is limited on Facebook, we only recommend you to add a maximum of two as they can help your post appear on Facebook search results. Now, paste the link URL that you are going to share. The Facebook post will create a preview that users can click through to visit the page, and you can delete the original text URL from the post. Lastly, you have to add media to your post. Click on the plus icon that is right below the text field. 
locate the image that you are going to upload and double click on it. Now click on the publish button. On Twitter, the first step is to add text to your tweet. Twitter is a platform where small bits of information create more engagement. So you'll simply have to describe a single fact about the content that you are going to share. The best way is to open with a very specific topic keyword and then to describe a fact about it. This will increase curiosity and will encourage users to click to read the rest. Now follow the description with a call to action such as learn more. We recommend you to add an emoji as visual direction to the link. Now add a shortened URL version of your link right below the text. You can shorten your URLs by going to bit.ly and pasting your URL in the paste a link field. You can click on copy after the app shortens the URL. Now it is time to add hashtags to increase visibility. Scan your tweet text and identify base niche keywords. Then add a number sign right at the beginning of each keyword to make them into hashtags. You can add up to two hashtags at the end of your tweet too. These hashtags can be search terms that are relevant to the topic and the content that you will be sharing in the post. Lastly, you have to add an image or short video to your post. Click on Tweet when you're finished optimizing your post. On Instagram, Instagram doesn't allow users to share links directly on a post, but we've discovered a workaround that works every time. Start by going to your profile and click on the Edit Profile button. Now add the URL that you want to share with users to the website field. Make sure to add a shortened version of the URL if it isn't a homepage URL. Click on Submit to save it. Now you can promote this URL by inserting a call to action on your post, instructing users to visit the URL in your bio. How to Increase Referral Traffic with a Giveaway Giveaways go viral real quick. Giveaway platforms allow contestants to earn entries simply by visiting websites, which means that by setting one up, you can increase brand awareness as well as targeted traffic to your site. Today, we are going to show you how to easily drive thousands of visits to your business website with a giveaway, the easy way step by step. Getting started. You need to sign up to a marketing platform that allows you to set up contests if you want to create your own giveaways the easy way. There are several solutions out there and we recommend you to use Gleam. Gleam is a business growth platform that will allow you to create unlimited giveaways for free. In this lesson, we are going to show you how to create a compelling giveaway with our Gleam account. Setting up the giveaway. Log into Gleam and click on the new competition button. Now enter the name to save your new contest in the name field. Now select the start date and end date of your giveaway using the calendar functions below. Now click on the user details tab and paste your Facebook page's URL in the allow users to like a Facebook page field. This will help you to generate more followers and more referral traffic from Facebook. Now click on the How to Enter tab. Here, you'll be able to select how to enter your giveaway. To send referral traffic to your website, click on the Visit a Page option. First, enter the name of your contest in the title field. The secret to attract users to your giveaway is to give it an actionable name that includes the name of the prize that you'll be giving away. To make it actionable, you'll just have to start by describing the action that you'll require contestants to earn entries. In this case, you'll just have to tell prospective contestants to visit your website today to earn an entry and win your prize. Now check the mandatory and daily entry boxes to encourage contestants to visit your website daily. Now enter your website's URL in the link URL field. Enter your call to action button text 
in the button text field and check the automatically complete option. Now click on the prize tab. Enter the name of your prize in the name title field. The number of winners you'll choose in the number of winners field and a brief description of the prize as well as a call to action in the description field. Now click on save to finish setting up your contest. Sharing your giveaway. After successfully creating your campaign, you'll be given three free methods to share it with prospective contestants. The first method allows you to copy the giveaway code so you can install the competition widget on any page or blog post on your website. The second method allows you to copy the default competition URL of your giveaway so you can share it directly everywhere, such as on instant messaging apps and on social media. The last free method allows you to install a special competition link on Facebook to showcase the giveaway on your Facebook pages. As you can see, this is actually the easiest and most cost-effective way to drive referral traffic with a giveaway. How to run a targeted Google Ads campaign for cost-effective traffic. Search is still a very relevant source of online traffic, yet it can get increasingly difficult to generate significant amounts of organic traffic with optimizations alone. The good news is that you can position your links, content, and offers in front of the right eyeballs for cheap with a search campaign on Google. And today, we are going to show you how to generate laser-targeted traffic on Google Ads. Getting started. Google Ads, formerly known as AdWords, is Google's advertising solution for advertisers. To use Google Ads, you'll just need an active Google account. To access your Google Ads dashboard, simply go to ads.google.com on your browser. Wait for the dashboard to load and then click on the Campaigns tab. Now click on the plus button and then on New Campaign. Creating a Traffic Generation Campaign First, you'll have to select the campaign goal. To generate qualified traffic from search to your online business, select Website Traffic as your campaign goal. Now you have to select your campaign type. There are four different types of campaigns. Search, Display, Shopping, and Video. Search campaigns allow you to serve ads on top of search results pages on Google. They're easy to set up, as you'll see next, and they're very cost-effective too. Select Search as your campaign type. Now enter your business website URL in the Business Website field, and then click on Continue. Now it is time to set up the campaign. Start by entering the name of your new campaign in the Campaign Name field. Now scroll down to the Targeting and Audiences section. Start by selecting locations to target. You can target all countries and territories, your current location, or another location. Now select the languages that your target customers speak. Click on the Select the Language field and select languages from the menu. Now scroll down to the Budget and Bidding section. Start on Budget. Enter your daily ad spend in the budget field. On bidding, you can change your bidding optimization and enter a maximum cost per click limit. To simplify bidding, the platform will select the bidding strategy that performs best based on your selections. Additionally, you can insert ad extensions in your ads. Ad extensions will allow you to show additional information on your ads. You can insert site link extensions to add additional links to your ads, call out extensions to add more business information to your ads, and call extensions to add a phone number to your ads. Now review your campaign settings and click on Save and Continue to move on to the next step. Now you'll have to set up the ad groups. Start by entering a name for your new ad group in the Ad Group Name field. Now type or paste the keywords terms or phrases that will trigger your ads on search result pages in the keywords box, each one separated by a line. 
Enter all your keywords and click on Save and Continue to move on to the next step. Creating your search ad. Now it is time to create your ads. Start by entering your landing page URL in the final URL field. Now use headline number one to add a high search volume phrase and headline number two to add a call to action with your keywords. Make sure each headline is 30 characters maximum. Now use the description number one field to add a brief description of your business, content, or offer. You can expand your description text in the description number two field. Now review the information that you added to your new ad. Click on Done and then on Save. You can create variations of your ad by clicking on the New Ad option. Click on Save and Continue when you are done creating ads in this page. The last step is to review your campaign settings and confirm by clicking on the Continue to Campaign button. And that is it. Your campaign will start running. And you'll start getting lots of qualified, highly relevant traffic triggered by your niche keywords. How to run a targeted Facebook ad campaign for cost-effective traffic. Facebook has always been an amazing platform for marketers, and one of its most powerful marketing solutions is Facebook Ads, which is the platform's own advertising network. And today, we are going to show you how you can use a Facebook Advertiser dashboard to generate laser-targeted traffic for your online business on any budget, step by step. Getting started. To create ads on Facebook, you have to access the Facebook Ads Manager. Log into Facebook and click on the menu button from anywhere on the home page. Now click on the Create Ads option. Setting up a Facebook ad campaign. When you create an ad campaign on Facebook, the first step is to select a marketing objective. There are several marketing objectives that you can choose from, and each one is optimized to help you get the best results according to your goals. In this case, because your goal is to generate qualified traffic to your online business, you have to select Traffic as your marketing objective. Click on the Traffic option. Now you have to customize your new campaign. Enter a name for the campaign in the Campaign Name field and click on Set up ad account. Now select your account country, the currency that you're going to use for billing, and your time zone. Now click on Continue. Setting up your ad set. Now it is time to set up your ad set. The ad set includes your traffic destination, your target audience, your ad placements, and your budget. Start by entering a name for your new ad set in the Ad Set Name field. Now select where to drive traffic in the traffic section. You can send traffic to four different destinations, a website, an app, the Facebook Messenger, or to WhatsApp. This lesson is focused on targeted website traffic, so make sure to select website as the traffic destination. Next, you have to set up your audience in the audience section. Facebook allows you to hyper-target users, based on information saved in their accounts. So targeting the perfect lead on the platform is easy. Start by selecting your audience locations. To target a location, you just have to type the name of a location in the Locations field, and then to click on the name of the location in the results. You can target several locations at once. Next, you have to select the minimum and maximum age of your audience the gender of your audience, and your audience languages. In the Detailed Targeting section, you can select to include or to exclude people in your audience based on demographics, interests, or behaviors. This will allow you to only show your ads to users that fit your criteria. Here you can also select Connections. For example, you can select friends of people who like your page to only show ads to users that are friends with your page fans. Next, you have to select the placements where you want to serve your ads in the placement section. 
Selecting Automatic Placements will show your ads on multiple placements automatically, where they're likely to perform best. Or select Edit Placements to select your own placements. When you select this option, you'll be able to narrow down your target placements by removing placements from Facebook, Instagram, the Audience Network, and Messenger. Lastly, you have to set up your budget and schedule. Facebook allows you to select from two types of budgets. Select Daily Budget if you want to spend a specific amount daily, and select Lifetime Budget if you want to spend a specific amount for the entire campaign until that amount is depleted. You can generate and build qualified traffic by selecting Daily Budget and entering an amount between $5 and $10. Test this amount for a week and scale up by $5 increments when you see positive results. Now select the schedule. There are two types of schedules. Select Run My Ad Set Continuously Starting Today if you want to run your ads right after you set up your campaign. Select Set a Start and End Date to set a launch and an end date. Review the information that you entered and then click on Continue to move on to the next step. Creating your ad. Now it is time to create the ad that you use to generate traffic from Facebook to your online business. Start by entering a name for your new ad in the Ad Name field. Now select the Facebook page that will represent your business in the Identity section. Now select an ad format in the Format section. The available ad formats are Carousel, Single Image or Video, and Collection. Image and video ads perform best. So for this example, we'll select single image or video as the ad format. When you select single image or video as the ad format, you have to upload the media that you use in your ad. Scroll down to the media section, then select image or video slash slideshow. Now click on upload. Locate the media on your computer and double click on it to upload it. Next, you have to actually customize your ad. Start by selecting Website as a link type for your ad. Now enter your website's URL in the Website URL field. Now enter a brief description of your business, offers, content, or products in the text field. Now enter a headline that is 40 characters long or shorter in the headline field. Now select the Call to Action button for your ad from the Call to Action menu. You can preview how your ad will look on different placements by using the slider buttons in the Ad Preview section. The last step is to click on Confirm when you are ready to launch your ad. The ad will be submitted for review, and it will be approved in 5 to 15 minutes. This is the easiest, cheapest, and most effective way to drive qualified, laser-targeted traffic from Facebook to your online business. How to Remarket Offers and Products to the Targeted Audience one of the most targeted marketing strategies out there is remarketing. With this strategy, you can convert one-time visitors into repeat visitors, leads, and customers. Remarketing works when you sign up to an advertising network that provides you with a unique code that you can install on your website to track visitors to other places they visit, where it will show them an ad from your business. Today, we're going to teach you how to easily create a remarketing campaign on Facebook, which we choose because it allows you to install the platform's tracking code without upfront costs or traffic requirements. Getting started. Before creating a remarketing campaign on any platform, you have to set up and install your tracking code. Facebook's tracking code is called Retargeting Pixel, and you can set it up from the Advertiser Dashboard. Start on the Ads Manager by going to facebook.com slash ads slash manager while logged in to Facebook. Click on the menu icon and then on the Pixels option under Measure and Report. In the next page, 
click on Add New Data Source and then on the Facebook Pixel option. In the pop-up, enter a name for your new retargeting pixel in the Pixel Name field and then click on Create. Your Facebook retargeting pixel is ready and now you have to install it on your website. We are going to teach you how to install it manually on your website's code, so click on the Manually Install the Code Yourself option. Installing the remarketing code on your website. Locate your pixel code in this window and click on it to copy it to your clipboard. You have to paste this code between the head and forward slash head tags of your site's code as per Facebook's instructions. In this lesson, we are going to show you how to install it the easy way on a WordPress website. If you're using another content management system or would rather not edit website code yourself, we recommend you to get help from a developer. On WordPress, go to your site's dashboard, move over the Appearance tab on the left-hand menu, and then click on the Editor option. Now move over to the Theme Files menu on the right. Locate Theme Header and click on it to go to the header section of your site's code. Paste your pixel code between the head and forward slash head tags and then click on Update File. Now go back to Facebook and enter your website's URL in the Enter the URL for this website field and click on the Send Test Traffic button. Now confirm that test traffic is active. Great job! You've successfully installed the pixel on your site, so click on Continue. Next up, you have to add the events you'd like to track. To generate remarket offers and products to the targeted audience, you will have to activate the View Content event. Now copy the event code generated below and go back to your site's header code. Paste the code right below the forward slash head tag and click on the Update File button. Go back to Facebook and click on Done. Setting up a retargeting campaign. Now you can start creating remarketing campaigns on Facebook. On the campaign creation page, select the Conversions objective. Enter a name for your new remarketing campaign in the campaign name field below. Then click on Set up ad account. Next up, select your account country, your currency, and your time zone. Now click on Continue. In the next page, enter a name for your new ad set in the Ad Set Name field. Now go to the Conversion section and select Website. Click on the Conversion Event box and select View Content. Next up, you have to set up your target audience. To simplify this example, we are going to click on Use a Saved Audience to select one of our saved audience configurations. Next. You have to set up your budget and schedule. Select your budget type, enter your budget amount, and then select the schedule. Review the information that you entered here and then click on Continue. Now it is time to create the ad for your remarketing campaign. First, enter a name for your new ad in the Ad Name field. When you create an advertising campaign on Facebook, you have the options to create new ads from scratch and to promote existing page posts. In this example, we are going to select an existing post that we created to promote an affiliate offer as well as a link to our business website. This will help us to increase targeted traffic to our relevant offer page and to our own website. To use an existing page post as an ad, click on the Facebook page menu located in the Identity section. Select the page that you are going to use to represent your business in your ads and then click on the Use Existing Post tab. Now go to the Creative section and click on Select Post. Select the post that you are going to promote from the new window and then click on Continue. Remember that you can preview how your ad will look on different placements by using the slider buttons in the Ad Preview section. Click on the Confirm button to send your ad for review when you are ready. Your new remarketing ad should start running in the next 5 to 10 minutes. As you can see, this is actually the easiest way to remarket your offers and products to your targeted audience.
setting up an email newsletter to your target audience to convert leads into repeat visitors. One of the most effective ways to qualify website visitors is by adding them to a mailing list. When you add email leads to a list, it becomes easier to move them further down a sales funnel. Yet, not all email subscribers are ready to respond to offers or marketing messages. The good news is that you can nurture these email leads by adding them to a newsletter. With a newsletter, you will be able to send automated content updates to keep your business top of mind. Today, we are going to show you how to create an automated newsletter campaign and how to subscribe your existing email leads to the newsletter list. Getting started. The most efficient way to create a newsletter is through an email marketing service. There are several good email marketing services out there, and we recommend you to use MailChimp to get started because it allows you to use professional email marketing tools and to add up to 2,000 subscribers for free. In this lesson, we are going to show you how to create a newsletter on our MailChimp account, but you can apply basically the same steps on any other email marketing service out there. If you're using MailChimp, Start on your dashboard and click on the Create Campaign button. In the pop-up, click on the Email option and then on the Automated tab. Creating the Newsletter Campaign. Now click on Share Blog Updates. Enter a name for your new campaign in the Campaign Name field and then select the Subscriber List from the Select a List menu. Then click on Begin to continue. Next up, you have to set up the newsletter and schedule. First, enter your website's URL in the RSS feed URL field. This will allow MailChimp to pull the latest content from your website automatically. Now you have to schedule your newsletter by selecting the newsletter frequency. Frequencies can vary based on the online habits of your target audience, but a good frequency that you can start with and optimize later on is as follows. Send content every week on Tuesdays at 12 p.m. as Tuesdays are, statistically, the days when leads are much more likely to open emails. Now check the Resize RSS Feed Images to Fit Template option to allow MailChimp to resize the images pulled from your website to fit the newsletter template. Now click on Next. On the following page, you have to select how to segment your list. In this case, because we are going to send the newsletter to a very targeted list, we are going to select Entire List. Click on Next to continue. Next up, you have to customize the campaign info. Here you can simply edit the email subject text to add a custom subject line to your newsletter without editing the placeholder code. Now check the Personalize the To field box to personalize the message with the recipient's name instead of the email address. Now click on Next to continue. On the next page, you have to select and personalize a template for your newsletter email. To select the newsletter template, click on the Themes tab, then click on the drop-down menu and select Newsletter. Now locate a template that you'd like to use for your newsletter and click on it to customize it. Once you finish customizing the template, click on Next to continue. Next up, You'll just have to review your campaign settings before you launch it, so check that everything is correct. Click on Start RSS and then on Start Campaign. Your new campaign is set up and will run on schedule. This will help you to funnel email leads back to your business website with an attractive newsletter that is sure to get lots of clicks. Getting Targeted Guest Posting Deals to Build Backlinks in 2019 Bloggers and marketers figured out a long time ago that guest blogging might be an effective way to lure sales prospects to their own sites. Here's how to increase the traffic to your site with targeted guest posting. The Value in Guest Blogging If you've done any blogging at all, you can readily recognize that publishing a guest blog on someone else's site gives you the opportunity to reach out to a new audience segment. 
and gives them the opportunity to check you out further via backlinks in your guest blog. The best part about that is the backlinks in the blog give these new readers a chance to contact you directly with questions or comments. Be ready to answer questions and concerns from these readers if they choose to reach out to you through one of your links. An active sales prospect who takes the time to seek you out after reading your blog considers you a good source of information and may already be well down the road to making a purchasing decision. In addition to that, it gives you the opportunity to form relationships with other site owners and marketers, which in turn can lead to more writing and marketing opportunities for yourself. Targeting your guest posts in 2019 Know where to market your guest blogs. If you're new to blogging, you must first recognize that there's a lot of blogging content already out there, for markets big and small. Don't expect to land a guest blog with the Wall Street Journal or Monday.com anytime soon, unless you're a well-known brand or have done something potentially newsworthy. The key to success in 2019 is targeted marketing. Focus on websites that are already attracting audiences that are part of your specific market niche. This ensures that you're coming into contact with an audience that is more likely interested in what you have to say, even if it's a smaller audience. A good tactic is to reach out to sites that have a high domain authority, DA. High domain authority is a sign of a high quality website, and linking to a high DA site can actually boost your own search rankings. Appearing on a well regarded high quality site will also boost your own credibility especially if you can be seen as authoritative in your niche area. Once you've got a list of good potential sites, check out their social media activity. Do their followers look like your average customer? Demographics, age, gender, income level? Are they talking about anything relevant to your product or service? Do they have a ton of followers but very little actual engagement, very few reshares or retweets? How to get your guest blog published to make this all happen and get your guest blog published, you will have to reach out to the right people. Many sites make their submission guidelines available, and it is very important to adhere to their guidelines as closely as possible. It's also a good idea to tailor your communication to the specific website. Avoid generic emails or anything that could give them the impression that you're just spamming every website on the Internet. Check their website and social media closely, to see if you can get the names of the specific individuals in charge. Then direct your communications directly to them. Remember, part of your goal is to develop ongoing relationships with the people behind the websites. A small website may be happy to publish a quality guest blog that increases the value of their content. For this reason, it's a good idea to tailor your blog content to a specific website as well. This will show that you have interest in that specific website and their audience. Can't someone help me with this? If you don't have the time to market your guest blog yourself, marketing companies do exist that will shop your guest blog for a fee. We're pretty neutral on this, so we're not going to recommend or not recommend anybody in this specific area. You'll have to exercise your own discretion and do your own research to determine if you want to get involved with a paid marketer. Top Laser Targeted Marketing Sources for Your Business in 2019 If you don't know your target audience, you don't stand much of a chance in the digital marketing world. What do you need to know about them? Demographics are important. You need to know their age, location, education, and income level. And those are just the basics. There are plenty of resources available for beginning marketers to the most advanced that can help you compile all the important information that you need to laser target your potential customers. Here are some that can help you with your research. The Small Business Administration In the USA, the SBA is a good starting point for any business. They can help you with funding, including business loans. They also have useful business guides that can show you how to do market research and perform competitive analysis. 
They even have information on federal contracting requirements. Google Maps. Don't forget the basics. If you run a local business and expect most, if not all, of your customers are in your area, you need to take a look at Google Maps over even an old-fashioned paper map and outline the extent of your customer base. How far will they come to visit your store? How far is too far? Your geographical area will define where you will focus your marketing efforts and help you determine if you're in a good location or if you need to open a branch to attract customers in outlying areas. The Census Bureau Another good source of demographic information. Here you'll find business surveys and statistics, housing and population surveys, and the economic census. All this information is useful in researching your niche market. Market research firms. Of course, you don't have to do this all yourself. There are a good number of market research firms that can help you identify your target market. They can provide you with market information, market segmentation, and even help you look at market trends that can affect your business. Market Research Online In the old days, market research was conducted by phone surveys and even live focus groups. The digital age has added lots of dimensions to market research. Here are some market research tactics for the digital age. Google Keyword Planner Keyword research is a powerful way to determine if your keywords are a popular search term online. The Google Keyword Planner can help you find out how many people are searching for your product or service at a given time. With Google Keyword Planner, you can also find related keywords that you can incorporate. Google Trends This tool allows you to go back in time, all the way back to 2005, to look at the performance of your keywords. Facebook Facebook is a useful platform to research your customers. You can use the Facebook Polls option to find out what your followers think about your product or service, your content, or anything else. You can also look at the insights for your page and find out the demographic information of the people you're interacting with online. You can also target an ad to invite people to take a survey. The Facebook search tool can find out what questions are being asked that are relevant to you. It can also find entire groups of people who fit your niche market. SurveyMonkey SurveyMonkey can help you build a professional survey, tailored to your specific needs. They feature a free and a pro option, so it's accessible to any business budget. Pop Survey This is another survey company that can help with targeted website surveys, promising a response rate of up to 58%. They have a free sign-up option as well, allowing you to get 50 responses free. This is a good option to get information from people who visit your website. Targeted Link Building Tips for Marketers in 2019 Why Building Links is Important to Your Business Strategy Popular search engines use links as part of their process of determining the popularity of websites. Through a series of complex algorithms, they can rank the popularity, trustworthiness, and authority of a website based on the number of links to it. A major website may have thousands of websites linking to it, demonstrating their reach and popularity. SEO professionals know that the computer algorithms of the major search engines are highly proprietary, but their expertise in the area of online marketing give them a good foundation in looking at the value of links. If you want to build a popular and growing website, you will have to be familiar with how SEO professionals view links and understand their importance in raising your website's profile in search engine rankings. Some professional marketers will note that link building has somewhat of a spammy past, Unscrupulous marketers manipulated links to skew Google's metrics, but a change in Google's algorithm helped root out the link spammers, so there's still plenty of value in link building. These days, search engines are better able to gauge the quality of a link. Here are some tips that will help you navigate the sometimes murky waters of link building and help you make it an effective part of your marketing strategy. 
Organic links versus sponsored links. Organic links are simply links to original content created by you or posted on your website. Sponsored links are paid ads that can be purchased from Google. Purchasing adwords from Google will increase your search engine ranking, but producing consistent, good content and a quality product or service will raise your standing among your customers and anyone who visits your website. Or as SEO-Hacker.com Editor-in-Chief Sean Sai has said, you don't need to pay money to advertise your link if people who are satisfied with their products or services can do that for you. Another thing to remember is that Google will charge you based on how high you want to be listed in the search rankings. This actually works well for some market niches, but it can get expensive. For example, personal injury lawyers use this approach. Nobody shops for a personal injury lawyer until they've suffered an unfortunate injury, and then they need one as soon as possible. In that highly competitive market, it makes sense to pay whatever is necessary to be the first link that a potential client sees when they search online. For other types of businesses, this method will be too expensive and won't lead to the type of growth you need. The question then is, how to build a slow, steady organic growth that will lead to long-term marketing success. Organic growth for small websites. If you're a startup or a small website, there are effective ways for you to build links that will help you optimize your website. Your existing customers then become valuable allies in your organic growth. Offer them partnership badges that link back to your site. Make your content something that people who know you will want to share with friends and colleagues with the intent of earning you more links back to your site. Laser targeting your links. To start a campaign of organic growth, we already know that the first step is a creation of quality content. When you create content, be mindful of the fact that your blogs, articles, and other content should remain targeted on your specific market niche. If you want your satisfied customers to help you build your links, you will have to provide them with the content that they need that's directly relevant to your niche. To build organic lead growth, you will also have to take the time to contact important websites in your niche and explain to them how they could benefit from a link to your site. Simply put, major players in your game can't link to you if they don't know you're there. Properly done, Targeted link building enhances your overall marketing campaign and will give you an overall boost in the search engine rankings, which, in turn, increases the visibility of your website. Tricks to Increase Targeted Traffic for Your Website in 2019 So, you've got a great product or service that you know the public will want and need. And you've also got a terrific website waiting for them to process the avalanche of orders you're sure to be expecting. So now what? How do you drive targeted traffic to your website and make sales? The Importance of Targeted Marketing In 2019, the importance of targeted marketing can't be overstated. Why is that? Simply put, targeted marketing means focusing your marketing efforts only on customers who are likely to need your specific product or service. It's a marketing philosophy diametrically opposed to the old view of casting as wide a net as possible and hoping you'll catch a few of the right kind of fish. Targeted marketing is successful because focusing only on your market niche is cost-effective and more likely to bring you better qualified leads. It's also a form of marketing that's made for the Internet age. Online marketing campaigns can be easily fine-tuned to reach your target audience and help drive that traffic to your website. Now let's take a look at the best ways to make it happen. How SEO can help SEO, or Search Engine Optimization, is the first step to driving targeted traffic to your website. The essence of SEO is making improvements to your online presence to increase your rankings in search engines like Google. Google's complete ranking method is highly proprietary and probably includes over 200 factors. 
But most marketing experts agree that the most important factors for basic SEO starts with links. Linking your website to larger, well-known websites increases public knowledge and trust in your brand, which are factors that Google looks at. Quality content on your site is very important. It's another ranking factor and provides your potential customer with information needed in making the buying decision. Guest blogging on other sites allows you to backlink to your site and opens up your blog to new readers. Be sure to keep your content up to date by updating old articles. Videos such as tutorials or direct messaging are a highly effective method to reach targeted traffic. These can be used on your own website or on another website as a guest vlogger or on other platforms like YouTube. What happened next may shock you. Marketing guru Neil Patel has cited a Facebook study by BuzzSumo that analyzed 100 million headlines and discovered which buzzwords and key phrases got the most attention. Consider updating your content or the construction of your ads to include some of the best ones to increase your chances of grabbing the reader's attention. You can use this technique to freshen up your older copy once you have updated your content. But be careful not to use a headline or buzzwords that are so outrageous that they harm the quality of your content. Using social media to increase targeted traffic. Using Facebook to drive targeted traffic. Don't discount the importance of social media for increasing your targeted traffic. Paid ads are available on Facebook and that are scalable for even small budgets. It's a good place to consider offering discounts or free offers to encourage visits to your site. Social media is also the ideal environment to interact with potential customers directly. Repost your blogs on Facebook and encourage questions and comments from readers. Answering questions is a good way to build trust with prospective customers and help them move into a purchasing cycle. You can also upload your videos on Facebook, and these are easily shared by your Facebook followers. Buying ads on Instagram Instagram has lots of ad purchasing methods available. You can narrow your audience based on their demographics, or you can tailor a campaign to anyone on your email list who's on Instagram. This can include prior customers you'd like to reach with a new campaign, or people who are interested enough in your product or service to provide you with their email address. The goal of all of this is to get the prospective customer to get to the landing pages on your website. So, in whatever platform you choose to market yourself, make sure your content is clear, concise, and communicates directly to your target audience. Alternative Targeting Strategies That You Can Try in 2019 Once you've optimized your website, written beautiful blogs, and even purchased a paid ad campaign, you have to consider what else you can do to drive good, targeted traffic to your website. Lots of viable alternative strategies exist, and depending on your business model, some may be effective for you. Let's take a look at some alternative marketing strategies including some tried-and-true methods and some that you may not have considered. Direct Email Campaigns Direct email campaigns are a cost-effective way to get your message to a large group of prospective customers. The trick is getting people to provide you with their email address. You can do this online with a giveaway offer, where you give away a freebie in return for filling out your contact form. If you have a brick-and-mortar store, you can do a similar giveaway, where all you need to do to enter is provide your business card or your phone number and email. Once you have the email information, there are several good email services that can manage your email blast. Constant Contact Constant Contact is a highly rated email automation service that features a 60-day free trial. Their service includes event management tools, and a social media tool that allows you to create coupons that are shareable on social media. MailChimp MailChimp is a popular email tool for bloggers and smaller websites. 
It includes a free plan for up to 2,000 subscribers and 12,000 emails per month. So it's perfect for small budgets and startups. GetResponse GetResponse is an email marketing platform that expands into an all-in-one solution, allowing the user to create their own landing page and webinars. GetResponse boasts a user base of 350,000 and is geared toward medium-sized companies that want email marketing with additional features. Send in Blue. Send in Blue is known for its ease of use and its pricing plan based on email volume. It has a limited free plan that allows 300 emails per day and an unlimited number of contacts. Take it offline. Marketers in 2019 are obsessed with search engine rankings, social media, and Google ad placement. But what if I told you that there are still some good places to develop targeted traffic that are far away from your computer? Consider a public speaking engagement. One of the most successful marketing campaigns of the 1980s and 1990s involved estate planning seminars that were designed to sell living trusts and estate packages to retirees. The marketers targeted their audience to retirees and zip codes where people were likely to leave valuable estates when they died. These seminars proved to be very popular and fueled very lucrative businesses because they targeted the right audience and offered them a product that they all needed, all without the aid of Google Ads or SEO. A live seminar is still an effective marketing outlet if you make sure to target your desired demographic. People who attend live seminars and still have questions can be encouraged to visit your website, to read your blogs, or have you answer their questions directly. Radio and TV It's hard to really call radio and TV advertising alternative marketing, but online ad placement has eaten into broadcast revenues in recent years. Despite this, radio and TV are still a viable way to reach your target market. Think it's outside of your budget? We know how you can purchase broadcast ad time at a rate even a small enterprise can afford. Commercial broadcasting has been involved in its own form of targeted marketing for years. Radio and TV are segmented markets that target very specific demographic groups. Most major markets also have small radio stations that broker airtime to specific small market segments, usually including ethnic and religious programming. If you have a local business that needs to target a small group like this, Brokered radio is a highly effective and cost-effective medium. These types of radio stations often have loyal followings among their market segments and typically feature advertising rates that are a fraction of those at a major station. Do's and Don'ts There's a lot to do if you want to optimize your website, drive targeted leads, and make sales. Then again, there's also a lot you shouldn't do as well. Here's a list of the top do's and don'ts for online marketers. What you should do Build good relationships. This is the important point in any business, but especially in digital commerce. The goodwill your business enjoys stems from the positive relationships you have with customers and the general public. Online businesses have a unique opportunity to build good relationships with customers because it's now possible to interact with them in an open online forum. Answering questions and addressing concerns help you build good relationships. Know your customer. You will need to do this if you want to build successful relationships and grow your business. In 2019, it's all about targeted marketing, so you need to know your business base inside and out. Take the time to create a hypothetical average customer and understand what they're about. What are the customer's wants and needs, their likes and dislikes? How do you communicate with them and where? Keep current on marketing trends. The technology world changes rapidly. What worked just a couple of years ago may not work today. And what works today may not work tomorrow. The business that gets behind on media trends 
risks getting lost in the digital shuffle. You're probably well aware that nobody's doing MySpace anymore. But have you checked to see if your core audience is migrating away from Facebook to Instagram? Getting out in front of these trends can make a big difference in the effectiveness of your marketing plan. Provide quality content. If you're reaching out to potential customers with blogs, articles, and videos, don't forget that quality counts. Your potential customers may be looking for answers to big problems. So make sure that the information that you're providing them is useful, accurate, and up-to-date. Make your communication personal. If you're reaching out to other sites to market that blog, make sure you tailor your communication specifically to your target website. Know the names of the decision makers and try to understand their needs. An email directed at to whom it may concern won't get you very far with a company that expects you to have some knowledge of how they operate. What you should not do. Don't overmarket yourself. Be aware that there is a saturation point in marketing outreach. Email blasts with good, thoughtful content will reach a lot of good prospects. But don't expect higher returns if you bombard them with messages daily. After a while, it just becomes spam. Don't get involved with bad marketing practices. Some companies have overdone it in the past. One marketing blitz included an email and a phone call to customers almost on a daily basis. Some companies are still telemarketing to prospects and have even resorted to automated robocalls and auto dialers. Some of this type of overreach has led to class action lawsuits against the companies involved. So be aware of how much direct contact your clientele can take before it gets annoying. Don't assume one size fits all. Imagine you're trying to build some organic growth to your website by guest blogging on other sites. It's a viable strategy. But if you're sending out generic communication to every website you're targeting, you're not likely to get a big return on your time and effort. Don't forget that it's all about the customer. Remember why we're all in this? To serve a customer and make sales. Remember that hypothetical average customer you created? Make sure that you're taking his wants and needs into account with all your marketing and business practices. Without a good customer experience, you can lose the benefit of all your good marketing and sales strategies. Don't make promises you can't keep. To keep those customers happy, be true to your word and don't make promises to them that you can't fulfill. Be sure to make the customer happy and give them something they want and need. You'll build a positive public image for your company and keep repeat business coming in for years to come. Premium Tools and Services to Consider In order to make it in a fiercely competitive market, you're going to need the right tools. And nowhere is that more true than in the digital marketplace. Fortunately, there's lots of help out there, even for startups and small enterprises that are on a limited budget. There are a lot of options for the online marketer who needs help with email lists, SEO, creating landing pages, and managing social media. We took a look at some of the best and most up-to-date options. So, Let's take a look at some of the best, most useful tools and services for your online business. BuzzSumo BuzzSumo is a hot property right now, and they're a great tool for helping create brand awareness and also to perform analysis on social media trends. It comes with a 7-day free trial and allows you to choose research in useful areas such as social media analysis, links, or content analysis. A lot of marketing people are using BuzzSumo to check out what their competitors are up to. All-in-One SEO Pack This is a good one to help with your online content. The All-in-One SEO Pack helps you with search engine optimization and make sure your content will grab the attention of the major search engines. This item is a plugin for use with WordPress. MailChimp MailChimp is among the hottest of a new batch of email marketing tools. Ideal for bloggers and small websites. It includes a free plan for up to 2,000 subscribers and 12,000 emails per month. 
That's enough to send a big email blasts across your email lists. Trello. Trello is a content-based organizational tool that allows you to share your content with others before you post online. It allows everything to be shared in the same place, so your team can read, edit, and comment on what everyone is doing. Lead Pages Perfect for the beginning online entrepreneur, Lead Pages is a great choice if you need help building your landing pages. But there's more to it. You can launch Facebook and Instagram ads from their landing page creator and optimize your landing pages to generate qualified leads. You can start out with a free trial and integrate your favorite marketing apps. Thrivecart Thrivecart can help you build sales card pages as well as one-click upsell funnels. Use their metrics to track live traffic and conversion rates as well as revenue and forecasting. They don't have a free trial, but you can try it out with a 30-day money-back guarantee. ConvertKit ConvertKit has some upscale email management features, including email automation and customizable forms. They employ graduated pricing on a per-month basis, so small shops and new websites can take advantage of the service. Every package allows you to send unlimited emails. You can try this website with a 14-day free trial to see if it's right for you. Lumen5 At Lumen5.com, they boast the world's smartest video creator that employs artificial intelligence in video creation. They can transform your articles and blogs into video. With just a click, they can access your content and create a storyboard. Their pricing plan includes a free option that allows you to create a limited number of videos per month. Lumen5 could be a true game changer for anyone who needs expert help in video production. Agora Pulse Agora Pulse is a premium social media management service that allows you to monitor important social media conversations and even reply to social media conversations from one place. With the growing reach of social media over an ever-growing number of important platforms, Agora Pulse also gives you the ability to track the progress of your social media engagements across a number of platforms. Google Analytics Google Analytics is actually a free Google service, and it's a powerful analytics tool for the online marketer that helps you track every visitor to your site. It can also tell you what keywords are doing well and what marketing campaigns are driving traffic to your site. It helps you build a complete picture of your marketing and content and provides unique data insight. Shocking Case Studies There are a lot of internet success stories out there. From big companies who have a lot of money to spend on marketing to small operations with minimal budgets. Here are some case studies about some companies and even individuals who are able to get some truly fantastic results by knowing how to use targeted marketing strategies. Lexus of Calgary Lexus of Calgary is one of Canada's premier auto dealers. They realized that the key to growth was to target their core market and learn their purchasing trends. They were able to generate seven additional car sales a month after installing the Facebook Pixel on its site to find out what cars potential customers were looking at. Later, they ran ads of those vehicles on Facebook. The ads produced tremendous results at a cost per click of just $1.71. Cadbury's Cadbury saw a 7% increase in sales by moving their ad purchases from television to Facebook. On Easter and Valentine's Day, they invited customers to have a fling with a cream egg. The campaign also included a competition, inviting customers to upload a picture of themselves and their favorite cream egg. Neutrogena They found out through the use of shopping basket data that 75% of their customers were only purchasing items in a single area of their product line. They successfully increased incremental sales with 18.1 million households through a video product pairing campaign that used banner ads and coupons. This campaign generated a huge return based on advertising dollars spent. W. Hollywood 
W. Hollywood offers high-end luxury condominium living in the heart of Hollywood, California. They boosted sales by driving targeted traffic to their site through careful SEO and Facebook ads. They coupled this with a Google AdWords campaign and saw a 115% conversion increase from Google AdWords and a 63% increase in site visits from search engine optimization. Alex Phyllis, Luxury Real Estate. Here's another high-end real estate operation, this time located in Australia. Alex Phyllis was looking for a way to increase brand awareness and generate well-qualified leads for their properties. Finding qualified leads is a trick with high-end real estate. They did it with a Facebook ad campaign that started with a wide net and then used the data obtained from that campaign to target the best qualified leads. This led to $15 million in sales from an $800 monthly budget. Fisher Tank, a much different type of company. They knew that they had to put together a better marketing plan for growth. They upgraded to a better website, optimized for search engines. This included long-tail keywords that showed up on lots of searches. They provided useful content to their potential customers, which included an educated class of engineers and project managers. They successfully increased website traffic by 119% and saw the request for quotes go up an unbelievable 500%. Renus Fisher. He's a world traveler and entrepreneur, as well as a photographer and web designer. His goals were much simpler than some of these larger companies. He simply wanted to expand the reach of his blog posts and reach a new and larger audience. With a $4 daily Facebook investment, Renus targeted audiences from the United States to Spain and to the Philippines. This minimal outlay netted him 200 website visitors and over 1,000 likes and shares of his blogs in just two days. Man Family Dental Here's another small enterprise that used blogging on their website to generate new patient leads. They employed long-tail keywords that targeted people in their geographic area and garnered a 270% increase in web traffic and a 50% increase in patients generated from the website. This is a prime example of how good blog content can be a game-changer for even a small local enterprise. Golden Heart Senior Care Golden Heart Senior Care found that they needed online marketing to develop a positive reputation as a reliable and trustworthy name in long-term senior care services. They were able to share positive reviews through a curated review platform. They began to produce content they targeted to a senior audience, and this led to five-star ratings across multiple senior care review sites. Frequently Asked Questions Why do I need to target my market? To get the attention of your potential customers, you have to market to their wants and needs. Tailoring your message to your likely potential customers is more likely to bring you a return on your investment than a spammy message with a one-size-fits-all message. Target your message and try to reach the people who are most likely to buy from you. How do I define my target audience? Start with their personal demographics. Do you know your average customer's age, income level, and education? This information will tell you a lot about your customer base. You also have to understand what they value and how they make decisions. Ask yourself, what problems does your average customer need to solve? Your product or service should be one that meets their needs and helps solve that problem. Is targeting more expensive for a small audience? Small niche audiences generally respond positively to well-focused, targeted marketing campaigns. In 2019, there are numerous cost-effective avenues to market to small audiences, particularly in the area of social media. Facebook and Instagram have ad campaigns scalable to any budget, so it is possible to target a smaller audience at minimal cost. What type of content should I consider? Informative blogging can help you build a loyal audience. It's also a good idea to engage your audience with quizzes, contests, 
and even giveaways that encourage people to visit your website directly. Answering the questions of potential customers in our online form is a great way to boost their level of trust and to get them to view you as an authority in your niche. Should I consider guest blogging? Guest blogging on a good website can expose you to a new audience and can also help this new audience reach out to you directly through backlinks to your site. It's a good idea to get high-quality contact to as many people in your niche market as possible. What response rate should I expect for my marketing campaign? Response rates can be difficult to predict if you don't have a past record to draw from. Also, response rates can vary drastically from industry to industry. You have to know something about past marketing efforts to your audience. Did your business used to rely on mass market direct mailings? They had a very low response rate, often less than 1%. Targeted marketing is designed to increase this. But you may have to run a test campaign or two to find out how it will work for you. How should I use social media in my marketing campaign? In 2019, the reach of social media is greater than ever. It's important to incorporate your social media presence as part of your overall marketing campaign. Experienced Facebook marketers will install the Facebook Pixel to track visitors to their site who came from Facebook. It's also important to engage your customers directly on social media, and there's a built-in platform for you to answer their questions and to talk with them directly. What is SEO? SEO, or Search Engine Optimization, is the process of setting up your website so that your site shows up well on the major search engines like Google and Bing. A good search engine ranking is essential if you want people to find you. There are lots of methods of optimizing your site organically including the use of proper keywords, blog writing, and link building. Why is it so important to update my copy? Keeping your content updated and current is important in several ways. First, your audience wants material that's precise and up-to-date. You can't compete with others in your marketplace with several years old content, especially in the digital age where change happens fast. Also, up-to-date, fresh articles will help increase your standing in the search rankings as older material gets pushed to the bottom. Should I be using video content? Video is a great way to connect with your online audience and a good addition to your blogs and articles. Videos on YouTube can get lots of views and help you reach new people. Moreover, it's easy for people to comment on and share your videos on social media.